Right now, there's a lot happening in the city of Greensboro. We've got the woman at the center of it all. Mayor Nancy Vaughn is with us in the studio today to talk Greensboro and to answer your questions live on air. So here's what we want you to do. We want you to ask the mayor, and here's how you do that. You text your question to 336-379-5775. You see it there at the bottom of the screen. And you get to ask the mayor. We're so glad that you're joining us. It, it is my pleasure. I can't wait to see what kind of questions come through. I mean, you never know. Right? Never know. Okay, yes. so we're going to start with this because you sat down uh, with us last month, and since then, so many things have changed. We want to talk about a North Carolina bill that could impact our community. So, folks, it's called House Bill 470, and it would enact a civil service board in Guilford and Forsyth counties. Now, the new group would work to solve city employee grievances and personnel issues. Several people People came to last week's city council meeting to uh, voice their opinions on the matter, or last night's city council meeting. Last on it. week, yes. Uh -huh. So many spoke in favor of the civil service board, saying it could protect them from unfair termination and discrimination. The council voted against the bill, but the mayor voted in for the bill. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about why you voted in for the bill. So at our council meeting, there was a resolution to oppose the bill. The resolution passed um, five to three, three of us in support of the bill. Um, there are five other cities right now that do have a civil service board, and it, it reviews the process to make sure that when a person is terminated or moved against their will to another department, just that policy was fo filed, followed. They don't rehear the whole thing. Um, I think it is something good when when somebody's job is in jeopardy of being terminated, just to make sure that all the I's were dotted and T's were crossed, and that they are able to bring um, representation with them. Okay. And it was, you know, this was not a vote against our city manager or our department heads. Um, I think they're professional and they have integrity, but I also think it's fine just to make sure that the policy that we established was followed. Mm -hmm. That would have been just one more step of oversight. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so at this point, not happening. Well, no, so it, it passed the House, mm -hmm. and so now it is in the Senate, and um, the Senate will, um, will either vote for or against it, and then if, if it's passed, it would become law. It is considered a local bill, so the governor does not have to sign off on it. Okay, and so that would then take place if it was passed, and then no matter what your vote was for the city, yeah, so we were just sending them our opinion. Your opinion, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Whether or not they listen to our opinion or not, that's a <laughs> gotcha. whole other thing. Okay. But what that will do, it will tell us that we have to establish a civil service board, mm -hmm. and then it will be up to us to look at what the that procedure would look like. And we do have the other cities to look at, Asheville being one. Um, the, the bill was really modeled after Asheville, and they've worked at it for, for quite a while. So we do have a good framework. To work off of if it passes. Okay, all right, we'll see what happens with that. Now switching to another topic uh, mentioned in the city council meeting, and that's affordable housing. We've been talking about that forever. Yes. Um, so there was a lot of conversation about increasing homes, expanding diversity among the people that are building those homes. Can you talk about what work is being done to address these various issues? So um, we, we um, on our next agenda, we're actually going to be spending a little over $2 million on one project. Um, we approved some other projects at the at the last city council meeting. We are looking at all price points, but what city council was looking at since we're investing is that they're affordable, particularly in the 30 to 60 AMI range, people that really have trouble making rents because so much of their salary goes towards mm -hmm. rent and utilities. So that's what we were voting on, that lower income. But we've also passed a record number of housing units in the last two years. Um, the city has a historical high number of building permits that are pending. So there are a lot of housing developments that are in process. You just haven't seen them come out of the ground yet. Mm -hmm. And we definitely need them because we have more businesses coming we to do. the city. That's been a number of new venture announcements that um, have been happening since the last time we spoke. Yes, yeah. We, we've had a number of announcements. We've had three. Um, we've also seen a lot of organic growth. When we talk about um, businesses that are coming and you hear the big investments and you hear the numbers of employees, that does not ca account for what we would call organic growth. The small businesses that are opening up because of these large announcements. And 
for a while, we were seeing a loss in population on a daily basis. That's the way they calculate it. But now we have actually seen a net increase of seven people per day. That's seven people per day who are moving into the city of Greensboro. That is a really strong number. Seven people per day who will be paying taxes, who will need a job, who will need housing, housing. whose kids may need school. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. All right, we've got about one minute left. Let's just take something really easy. How about the trolleys? They're returning to downtown. They are, and that was part of a, um, a uh, what do you, participatory budgeting. That's where it first came up. Um, we're having challenges with parking downtown, so this trolley will help bring downtown and the universities um, together. So we're looking forward. You see that there is a mock-up of what a proposed uh, trolley looks like. And so we're excited to have it move people around downtown. And it actually is a bus, but it's gonna be painted to look like a yes. trolley. Yes, it is.